Hey there viewer, we're diving into a digital saga that's been unfolding right before our eyes, a tale of fame, fun, and now potential fallout. It's the story of TikTok, the social media platform that's become a cultural phenomenon and a stage for creativity for millions around the world. But now, the curtains might be closing for TikTok in the United States. Stick around till the end for some surprises and exclusive content on the TikTok ban. Now, let's dive into the story. Imagine a world without TikTok. Seems impossible, right? But it might just become a reality. President Joe Biden has signed a bill that could potentially lead to a TikTok ban. This isn't a sudden move. The seeds of this possible ban were sown in July 2020, nearly four years ago. The conversation gathered momentum with a bipartisan bill proposed in December 2022. The version of the bill that President Biden just signed into law has been in the works for a while and it's not an immediate ban. TikTok has a nine-month deadline to find a U.S.-approved owner or face an outright ban. TikTok CEO Sho Chu isn't taking this lying down and has vowed to fight this decision in court. But what does this mean for the millions of TikTok creators and users? We'll explore this in the next scene. Stay tuned. The TikTok community is not going down without a fight. The potential ban has sparked a flurry of reactions from creators and users alike. Dutch de Carvalho, a popular creator from New York, has raised poignant questions about the government's priorities, pointing out the lack of affordable housing, student loan forgiveness, a higher minimum wage, and free COVID-19 tests. His sentiment echoes across the platform. Can we at least watch videos on an app of people doing fun things and learn about the world around us? High-profile creators like Marcus de Paula, with an audience of nearly 4 million followers, have expressed skepticism about the U.S. government's ability to substantiate its claims against TikTok. De Paola believes it's unlikely that the government can prove TikTok is sharing American user data with the Chinese government or promoting Chinese government propaganda. However, the shadow of the potential ban has certainly cast a pall over the platform. De Paola observes that videos discussing the ban receive massive attention, indicating the widespread concern among not just creators, but also users and small businesses that depend on TikTok for advertising. The introduction of TikTok Shop last September has been a game changer for small businesses, enabling them to sell their products directly on the app while creators earn a cut for product promotion. A potential ban threatens to disrupt this ecosystem, causing distress particularly among black and minority-owned businesses that have found opportunities on the platform. A potential ban on TikTok is not just about a social media app, it's about the livelihoods of millions of people. A TikTok ban would have far-reaching implications. Imagine the plight of small business owners and creators who depend on the app for their livelihoods. The ban could disrupt their income streams significantly. A.B. Burns Tucker a popular creator with over 700,000 followers, voiced her concerns about how the ban could disproportionately affect minority-owned businesses. On a broader scale, the ban could have political ramifications as well. With a presidential election on the horizon, the ban could discourage voters and contribute to an already pervasive distrust in the federal government. The TikTok community, which is largely young and politically active, has expressed its dissatisfaction with the government's focus on TikTok, while other pressing issues remain unaddressed. The ban also raises questions about data privacy, national security, and the international relations between the United States and China. It's not just about an app. It's about how we navigate the digital age, balancing entertainment and connectivity with security and sovereignty. The future of TikTok hangs in the balance, and with it, the future of millions of creators, users, and small businesses.